Hello, my name is Mariana and this is a reading for Pisces. So Pisces, I've done your reading with my own deck as usual, so the cards you'll see are from this deck. Um, yes, Pisces, something very odd um, happened today. You know that um, if you've seen other of my readings and my thumbnails, uh, usually the cards are always upright. But today for you, this first card, which is Judgment, came reversed. And, you know, I, I don't really read cards in reverse uh, just because they don't tell me anything, really. Uh, but today was different for you, Pisces. Uh, and the reason being because I feel like the only way to receive the message was to show me this image upside down. And I hope you'll see what I'm seeing because... If you see if you see here this uh, this part of the image feels like a lid uh, on a bottle in a sense uh, and it's this image that is coming up recently in this uh, in the past few readings uh, about this opening up this unlocking this opening the lid um, and so this is the only reason why I feel the card came in reverse for you, Pisces, to indicate the opening up of this lid. And it's like this liberation and something because of this hammer, it feels like something very, uh, uh, something that is crucial that it happened now. It's all about timing. It's all about timing, I want to say. And, you know, because of the hammer, there's something about strength also. It's like it required a little bit of strength, but it's almost like it was an ongoing process, an ongoing attempt to, you know, break off and to open up this lid uh, that was suppressing, it's the word that I just received, suppressing. And so it's almost like it was this internal strength that was required to break this lid open. Um, and so this is something that I'm saying, you know, if it was like this, the image would be, you know, conveying a very different message, one of shutting down of keeping it closed. Just a second. I'm sorry, I had to stop the video because of the outside noise. Uh, so now that they are gone, coming back to the judgment card that opened up your reading. So I hope you see the difference between this image and this image, right? This is a breaking open. This is a shutting down. So this is the only reason why I feel like this judgment came reversed for you, Pisces, to signal this uh, opening up, this breaking free, in a sense, because it was time, because it was, well, you have built the strength to break the limits, to open up this lid, right? So I feel like somehow whatever this judgment means for you, whatever this breaking free is for you, I feel like with these three cards, it's not only the opening up of something that was <clears throat> constraining you and suppressing you, but something that you have anticipated the arrival, <clears throat> I'm sorry, um, something that you have anticipated the arrival, uh, well, perhaps someone or something, because we have the Knight of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. And so this is you very, well, very knowing of who you are, very aware of your own power. You, it's like you, you very conscious. It's like you know what lights you up. You know what energizes you. You know your power. You know your power, Pisces and you use it to good use you use it to your benefit it's like you have this power of conjuring up and 
it's almost like this calling because this is what I'm seeing with the three of wands. It's like, um, it's like you don't, the, the two messages that I'm seeing here is one of extreme power and conjuring up things. But also it's like, you know that you don't have to go anywhere for you to call in what you want, what you need, what you desire. Because, you know, being fire, you know, and you are a water sign. So, but you are very intuitive. So it's like, it's again, the message of fire and water mixing up and conjuring up. Because this is what I'm seeing. It's like, um, what I'm seeing with the three of wands, it's like this pot that you're just mixing and it's like this uh alchemical cooking place or cooking magic i just heard cooking magic <laughs> so but but you know it's there is this um important detail that i'm being you know highlighted here you know the power of it so it's like I want to emphasize what I just said. You use your power. You're cooking this magic with responsibility. You're doing it for a good purpose. Um, but I want to say, Pisces, this feels like a message for someone that is really calling a partner in wants to conjure a partner wants to manifest a partner because this is what i'm seeing with this uh knight of cups so yes usually this knight represents this knight in shining armor which is you know the perfect partner the just well the partner of your dreams and someone with a good heart so this is what you're conjuring up. You're conjuring up a partner that resonates with you, that has the same goodness and energy, but mostly goodness um, within them. And so this is like, this is the building up of the strength that I saw here. This is this um, preparing your own territory it's like you are you are good where you're where you're at you don't want to leave you want someone to share this share this space and so it's like you're creating a portal this is what i'm seeing with the three of wands you're creating a portal for them to cross over into your territory and it feels like, um, it's like the, it's like you're putting a spell on someone. Uh, and I don't want to, uh, you know, it's not literal. Uh, it's not a literal spell. Uh, it's just, um, it's this conjuring up. It's like you're calling in someone and you're, it's interesting because, you know, the smell, the scent, the importance of smell, the perfume of a flower came into in yesterday's reading. Um, and today for you, Pisces, I feel like whatever, you know, magic you're cooking up with this pot that you're just, you're so engaged in it. You're so engaged in it. It's like, it's what you do most of your day, I want to say, because it's your element. It's, it's like you're exploring this power of yours uh, and you're doing so intently, like with a lot of purpose, with the intention of calling this one in. And so it feels like it is re reverberating. It's like, it's like the smell, right? You, you don't need to cook elsewhere, I want to say. Your magic, you can cook it, you know, in the safety of your home in the safety of your own territory but it feels like the smell of it the the it's like it's it's going farther than you think it's going it's reaching farther so 
And I feel like you're doing so purposefully. Like, you want that to reach further. So, it's interesting because it's just like, I'm sensing like you're, you're receiving this and you're going like, mm-hmm, yep. <laughs> okay, Pisces. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this is going to make me blush. <laughs> so these three next cards, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. So this is such a beautiful energy. And I feel like you you know exactly what you're doing. It's like you're so conscious and so aware of your power. Your power of just bringing someone that will light your day will it's like it's like you want to share your light with them, but also it's like you well, I'm just going to say it how I'm seeing it. You just want a partner to share your life with. Um, and you're doing so very intentionally. Um, and, you know, maybe this is the reason why this judgment came reversed also. Because it's this breaking free of perhaps being on your own but also very aware of your own power so this is an interesting message it's like you you have grown to this place to to become someone that is very aware of who you are and what you want your desires right you came as this queen of wands so very fiery you know what you want uh and perhaps you know who you want so it's like you're doing it on purpose this is so strong today so you know the five of pentacles it represents to me this specific location and today because i saw you in your own territory not leaving not wanting to go anywhere else but rather calling someone in this is what I'm seeing here today. I so apologize for the noise. I know this is so annoying. I don't know if I stop the reading and just wait. Okay. So I apologize. Um, there's a construction site right by my doorstep. It's like insane. So coming back to your cards. We have the five of pentacles, which is talking about this sovereignty of oh god i'm so sorry i'm gonna stop this video i'm sorry pisces i'm back <sighs> i just had to meditate a little bit to let this energy go so let's go back into your cards what i was talking about the five of pentacles you being planted where you are it's this sovereignty about you that you have learned to well i was going to say nurture where you are but it's like you were stirring up the energy you were you were learning about your power and the importance of the place that you were it's also something crucial so this is the reason why this came reversed also because the pressure of being still, of remaining where you are in one place only was also very critical for you to liberate yourself from this constraint. And it's like, um, what I'm seeing, it's like the strength of a seed that has to break free, you know, from the soil, from earth. So it's this uh, building up the strength that I saw here. Uh, and so this is what you were doing by, you know, remaining in your own place, in your own territory, very grounded, exploring this energy, exploring your desires, exploring, especially because, you know, we have the nine of cups here. It's like you were not exploring only your perhaps 
your sexual desires, your energetic desires, your, um, it's like your bodily desires in a sense, but also your emotional desires. So this is interesting here because firstly, what I was seeing with the Four of Cups and the, the Nine of Cups was a message of a stable love that is coming with this Nine of Cups. So a stable love and you know i was um uh, i was taken aback a little bit because uh it didn't feel so promising i have to be honest pisces but when the nine of cups came afterwards it felt like a reassurance from spirit because it's how it hurt it it was yes it is stable but it's also everything that you ever wished for. It is some sort of dreams coming true because I feel like whatever you were doing here, you know, exploring your own energy, exploring your own passions, exploring your own, you know, it's like this uh, revitalization process that you were doing it on your own and you have come to this very powerful place knowing your own power by knowing your own desires knowing your energy and how to use it to good use um and so you were exploring your emotions also your emotional desires your emotional fulfillment here and this is what is coming through. This is what is coming through this stable love. So this is gorgeous because I feel like it has, although you were coming with a lot of fire, with a lot of movement, with a lot of dynamic energies, I feel like whoever you're conjuring up, whoever you're calling in, whether you know them or not, I feel like they're bringing you this sense of fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, but also stability, stability in a relationship, perhaps. Um, and st just, I'm just hearing again, stable love. So yeah, I feel like, um, it will be good for you, Pisces. I want to say, I have a good feeling of this. So this is where this part of your reading, uh, ends. I'm so sorry about all the interruptions. Uh, the noise here is really annoying today, but I'll do my best uh, in the extended. So I'm going to pull more, more cards for you. And also I'm going to pull from the astrological runes as a final guidance. So if you want to join me there, I'll be happy to see you. If not, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye Pisces.